it is that time again here folks at paper and moose it is another trash picking video i am getting ready to go out and see what people have put out in the curb on the curb not in the curb <laughs> Join me for a trash picking adventure. If you are new before we start this adventure, please make sure to subscribe. This way, whenever I go out and I dig through people's trash, you will always be notified because you always want to be up to date on things like that. So without further ado, let's get out there and see what people have put out on the curb for free that we can rescue, resell, and possibly even research. I forget what these are called. I just know they bring in good money for scrap. So I'll pick these up for taco stacks. Beach chair, I do not need. We'll grab these. I saw these on top. Baseball cards. They're not filled with them. Yankees, ooh, these might be good. I do not need the bucket, but I'll take these. Hmm good flea market items food safe we'll see about that there's a lamp statue no it's a lamp it's heavy what the heck I wonder if someone would want that oh it's chip though. It's like a cactus. Cactus lamp. I think I'm gonna pass. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. Maybe, uh, I have no idea. This thing is heavy. I don't know what someone would use it for. Oh, sorry cactus thing lamp. This is the home that had the puppy pads. And Gucci boxes. Is this metal? I might sell. <laughs> Hi. Books up on stuff all the time. <laughs> oh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. You yes. can always use something. Hi, puppy. Yes, very nice. Have a good day. Thanks. Boxes. I should take some of them. I wonder if I could sell the Gucci box. All right, I think I'm just gonna take the Gucci box. Just in case. I don't know what these. Oh, there are boxes, but. I'm gonna take this, just in case. I don't own anything Gucci, and probably never will. I'll take this. It's kind of very Whoville-ish. Here's some artwork. This is kind of cute. I think that would definitely sell. And then make this piece too. Oh jeez. That's ripped on the back, but we'll take them. Someone will still want them. Artwork seems to do well at the flea market, so I'll try it out. What's in here? Ooh, a globe? No, oh, she's broken. Globe, a treasure chest. Oh, geez. A box? Let's just. I'm gonna take this whole thing. This may have been the house where I got that Santa from. We're gonna grab this. See if there's anything we can use here. Oh, it's just wood. That's a nice stool. I guess we'll grab this. Someone would use that. That's actually in really nice shape and it's kind of small. So, we'll grab that. Another trash picking day in the books. Some neat things. 
you know, not a whole car full, which might be a good thing. Um, but some neat things that will definitely sell at the flea market. So, my trusty notes, I found the rotors. Those have already been given to Taco Stacks um, for scrap. The Gucci box and that Whoville Dr. Seuss looking swirly Christmas thing. You know, some empty boxes sell really well on eBay, especially for iPhones, old Nintendo gaming systems, Gucci, I don't know. You can always also just reuse them to give a gift and then the people, I guess that's kind of a mean way to surprise someone. <laughs> I own nothing Gucci and most likely never will. Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, the baseball hats. Where'd I put them? Let me go grab them. Hold on one minute. So yes, the baseball hats, it, it was a shame because at that same spot there were binders that said, uh, you know, 1990s cards. That whole box was full of binders that held baseball cards, but they were all empty. Can you imagine if you found a baseball card collection in the trash? That'd be really cool. So we have the hats, the Yankees. This is not a protected helmet. I'm probably not going to guess the other ones because I don't know. Um, the Ash Astros? <laughs> I think this is local. I thought there was another one. I think there's one more. It's probably still in the bag. I don't know who these people are. Um, these are probably souvenirs because they say not food safe. What well, popcorn comes in them. No idea. I have been, I went to one like actual real baseball game in my life and that was it so these will go to the flea market you know a buck a piece if they don't sell then they can always be donated um that i don't even know what that was if that was a lamp that cat i said it was a cactus looking thing no idea but it was heavy it was a solid piece of you know cement concrete whatever and I just didn't know if it would be worth it to lug that to and from the flea market. There were some chips on it. The base, the one corner was all chipped. You know, if that would have been a lamp and had been wired, then perhaps it had that, you know, that, that down the shore hotel 1990s and late 1980s vibe to it with that green, but no idea what it was, so that stayed on the curb. And then we have the prints. <clears throat> Oh, and the stool, which is right here. You probably can't see it. Um, really nice wooden stool. That will go to the flea market. I just have to clean the, um, the spider eggs off of it. <laughs> and then we have the peacock print. And then this flower print. So, you know, the backs have seen better days. Interiors by design, canvas. So, you know, a couple dollars for these. I think they'll do well. The Peacock one's really nice. So those would be destined for the flea market. Then the whole box of goodies that I have here. I believe that this was the same house where I got the Santa face from. The styrofoam Santa face a while back. I think it was the same house. So I saw on the top of the box there had been the globe and the little treasure chest. The box is heavy. I didn't, haven't looked in the box yet, so this is going to be something for both of us, all of us. So let's do it. So I did find treasure. Oh no. I did find treasure in the trash because I found a treasure chest. Now, is there anything in it? This came off of it somewhere. I'm going to put that to the side. All right, let's see. It is a jewelry, oh, a jewelry box. Pretty nice shape. So, flea market bound. It does have, looks like a little Aladdin's lamp in the center there on the crest. Let me see if you can see it. Flea market. Oh, the globe's broken off the thing. Oh, this is neat. 
So we have another, does this roll up? Ooh, that's nice. So it's like for your desk. You can probably hold post-it notes in there. Closes like that. And it has the drawers. Very nice. London leather, Japan. Interesting. That piece. We have this, which we did see. Oh. I think she's chipped. Why do I think her arm is damaged? It's not. Um, that's all falling apart, but. Oh, she's cracked a little bit up on her head, but still not too bad. There's her, and then I see her hubby down below. So we'll get that out. First, let's move this globe. Well, no, there's something else in the way. One of these. No one wants these anymore. Like, it's, it, you're not, you're not selling these. If you know someone that still decorates with these, let me know, because... I, I can't get rid of these, so this will most likely be scrapped. Don't hate me, but I don't even think someone would give me a quarter for that. So we do have a globe. I'll put back in. Great globe. Globes were hot at one time. I don't know if they still are for decorating. You know, it just depends on the color. This has this great piece. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see what Russia is at. Oh, so it's Soviet, Soviet Union. So that gives us a good idea of the date. Because it's not always on here anywhere. See, so yeah, we have Soviet Union. Um, So, flea market, definitely. If that perhaps was in better shape and, you know, a really, really nice globe, then it could go on eBay because they do well. People love to decorate their offices, dens, studies with the vintage globes. There's... So we have the ladies' mate. These would be fun to redo for Halloween. I don't unless they're worth some crazy amount of money, but I don't, I don't think so. So we have a pair. They will be sold together. And then there's three more things. We have another, oh, I don't know. Is there anything? One day when I do that, there's actually gonna be good stuff. So there's just these things like leg protectors and then some buttons. There's, that's, this better not be another bomb. What in the world? These things, this is heavy. There's two of these. There's another one down there. I don't even know what, what this is. It just says 752 for that one. Is that a part of a drill? They look like little bombs, but man, that hat, like this has to be, I haven't been to the gym so long. <laughs> Maybe 10 pounds? More than 10 pounds, at least 10 pounds. Maybe even 15. Maybe 10. Um, no idea what these are. But if you know, then let me know. I don't think I have to call the cops to look at these. <laughs> Hopefully not. No clue. Sometimes people are you know, like, oh, you should do the research before you look at it, but I wanna open the box and see all the stuff with everyone, you know, not have it be a surprise. So, if you know what these are, let me know. So that was fun. Fun trash hunting, treasure hunting. Um, I was trying to think how you can combine those words. Treasure, treasure, trash, trash, treasure. But yeah, always interesting. Oh, this says something on it. Cook forest. Cook 
RSPA, I think. So this is probably a souvenir. It most likely perhaps had a picture on the front at one point. Anyway, that was my squirrel moment. So yeah, a good day for trash picking. I have some pieces that will go directly to the flea market. So hopefully they will be quick sellers. That will give me more room to find other things in the trash. And then we have those pieces that I don't know what they are. So I'm sure that you all will let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not. That would be most appreciated. And this way you will always be in the know on what is going on at the channel and what things I find in the trash. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time.